Hey guys, what is going on? This is Apple Tech. Now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the top five Cydia tweaks for your iOS 6 devices. Without further ado, let's get started. Now introducing the first Cydia tweak I got for you guys. This one has to do with your lock screen. And if you know Apple's regular lock screen is limited, you just simply slide to unlock and you have a camera on the right hand side. However, with this new Cydia tweak, it allows you to have more options actually six applications three on the left and three on the right you also have a button on the bottom which you can swipe up and select the application you want to launch or you can just unlock your device this is courtesy of a tweak called Adam now I do also have to mention that this tweak resembles something that you will see on Android however it's brought to iOS it's a great unlocking and a great way to get to your favorite apps just a little bit more quicker then unlocking your device and selecting the app that you would like to launch. And the settings, that's where you can customize on what apps that you want for your certain lock screen. Of course, six is the maximum. It gives you the top right, the top left, medium, and below. So you guys can choose up six of your favorite and get the launching. Now the second city to get out for you guys is gonna feel like a Mac feature brought to iOS and this is courtesy of Active Dog. It does this by notifying you whenever a app is being launched or when you're launching an app at the moment. It also notifies you when you have an unread email from your email client or your stock messaging app by actually bouncing the app or having a light indicator on the bottom. Now all the things that I mentioned are just going to affect the dock of your iDevices. So you're going to see a little dot under each application that is running the background or has an unread message. However, the phone and the mail is always going to be indicated because those are always running on your phone. Now in the settings of this tweak, you will see that you can enable and disable the dock as well as the light indicators. And also, as I talked about the bouncing on a launch, whenever you see an application bounce on your dock, that means it's running in the background or you have an unread message. Other than that, you have on notifications and bounce every 30 minute and etc so you can have it to your own time frame on that however this is an overall great tweak it brings a mac feature once again to ios giving you more of an apple feel to it so it's a very polished tweak at that and i gotta say it's pretty unique now the third city of tweak is coming back to your lock screen and this one is a tweak that's going to spread out your lock screen in general minimizing the clock on the top and also the slide bar on the bottom so you have a little bit more space for your wallpaper actually a hundred pixels added to your lock screen now this is courtesy of subtotal lock allowing you to give more real estate on your lock screen but no fear it does also communicate with your music controls so it has a nice moving animation when actually going to your music controls and coming back so it doesn't interfere with any functions that are normally on your device it gives you a more spread out look on your lock screen it looks better for the iphone 5 making the screen look a little bit more larger than you're used to looking at although it's not a game changer tweak it does give you a hundred more pixels that you didn't have on your lock screen before now the fourth city tweak is a fun in games tweak it's one that's gonna give you an animation before launching your application now this one is courtesy of lively icons as i said it gives you an animation before the application launches however as you guys see the normal apple way when you tap on it it was just simply launch but with lively icons enabled you will see in the settings that you can enable and disable this tweak as well as animations you have a widespread of certain animations that you can set them as however my favorite is random and as you guys can see it will give you a random effect before actually launching the application which can puzzle some people when they use your device and it looks pretty cool at the same time however it's not a productive tweak but as i said it's a fun and games tweak just to have on your device now last but not least the fifth cd tweak i have for you guys is a tweak that's going to change the way you use your music application and this all takes place on your app switcher simply by double tapping you guys will see pod switcher which is the name of the tweak on the bottom simply tap on the actual title and you guys will see something will pop up it will switch to your music controls towards the bottom and this is where you get a nice interface and it pretty much uses what you see in the music application but just puts it on your app switcher which is the name pod switcher however you have the artwork towards the top and you can customize the animation it's currently on cover flow and you can change it to whatever animation that you will find in the settings you also have song albums artists and playlists towards the top 
you can swipe towards the bottom to actually go to the music controls it also has a couple more features added to it such as sharing it on twitter searching up the lyrics and also searching up songs that you have in your native music application talking about the settings heading into them you can enable and disable the tweak right from there as well as changing the animations i had it on cover flow and you can just change it to of course let's see time machine moving right under that that's where you can start with certain artists albums songs and playlists so choose whatever fits you as well as having a reflection which you can enable and disable it as well as the darkness I'm gonna change and lower the darkness so you guys can see the effect. And now looking at it with the brightness turned down, it looks a little bit more original and something that belongs to iOS. However, this is a great way to manage your music, something different, so feel free to check it out. So guys, that's much gonna do it for the top five city of tweaks for your iOS devices. If you guys enjoyed this video, always feel free to give it a thumbs up as it is always appreciated and helps the channel out a lot. And on that note, if you guys have any further questions considering the video or anything else, feel free to drop your comment below as well as following me on all of my social networks in the description below, right below that like button. However, that's much gonna do it. I guess I'll catch you guys on my next upload. See you.